Hi, this is an Excel data entry form without the use of a VBA code or user form. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on new and we can then enter new data. The employer is Aviation Town and the name is let's say Captain Jerry. Okay, we have Captain Jerry there and address of Jerry. Let's go for number. 156 and we just call the fraud now close gender male and salary let's see it's about that okay I'm going to purposely enter more than specify and the date is day Because I had range here that range from 1000 to 2000 plus, this could meant to be an error here. So if I click on new or press enter, the choice is yours. There we go, we have error right there. Okay, the data is meant to be, we have a range for the data, so we can always go back to previous and just get that sorted. There we go, and you can just press new there and enter new details if you want so let's say the name of this guy is Kingsley and date there just press enter so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys to Excel development environment and we put one of these together Hi and welcome to Excel Data Entry Form without use of a VBA code or user form. So I'm going to start by entering employer right there. And in here I'm going to then enter, let's say name. And here let's enter address. And here we're going to have male or female or let's just call that gender. And right here let's go for the salary and date there okay before I can do anything to this I'm going to convert this to a table okay? select all of the columns and now go to insert right here and you can just select table or as you can see you can press ctrl T so I'm just gonna click on table there and now it's asking you where is the data for your table the data for my table is right there so my table has a header select my table as header check that and click on ok there we go now for us to be able to use the form I don't have the form on my ribbon so I'm going to come up here you can see the small arrow pointing arrow there click on it and let's select more command there we go if you don't have that you can always go you will always have it anyway but you can always go to file and select options and there we go okay we want commands not in ribbon and we want it to be inside the quick access that is the right there select quick access and now we're going to look for the form Let's go for form. Changes to command not in ribbon, and we need the form. Come right down. There we go. That's the form. Select it and just click on add. There. That is the form right there. Okay. Once I click, if I click on OK, what will happen is you will see this very form displayed right up here so click on ok there that is the form okay we don't have any data in here but just select the form anyway and select anywhere any of these cells click on the form as you can see you can see the columns title right there so let's em enter the employer there let's say aviation aviation town the name of Tony Allen address one Q80 gender male 
and salary in this case let's say the salary is about 1700 and the date let's say 10 0 6 2000 and that there so all we just need to do is press enter okay and that's it and one thing that you guys can always do is you can also select the cell where you just want to enter information a very good example is let's say we don't want to enter anything inside the employer we just want the name there so let's say the name is Sammy Stanmore okay and address let's say nine year road and the wages for Sammy this is it let's say is this is Sammy's wages right there Okay, and the date, let's assume the date happens to be the same date. There, all you just need to do is click on new or press enter. As you can see, we have left out some cells there. And this is just to answer this guy who sent me, who would like to know if it's possible. And that is it right there. Thanks for your informative video. I just want to create a data entry form which enter data into some uh, selective cells. Okay. So that's what I've just done now. Okay. That is an or Excel data entry form that you can just enter your own selected data into a selective cells. Now let's modify this, make it look a bit alright. The next thing I want to show you guys is I'm going to for the next thing I would like to show you guys is how to carry out data validation. And look, let, let's select these very cells here. Okay, let's take it down a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. You see where we have data? Click on data. And we just want this. That is it right there data validation click on validate and what I want to do is I just want that to be let's say whole numbers and I'm going to give it a range as 1000 to 2005 okay that's my that's the range and here you see where we have input message right there I'm going to enter as follows so that would be the title enter data or enter numbers and in here that is just going to be like my tooltip okay let's just say valid numbers only there and here you see where we have error click on that so if you enter more than the data that's specified here this is the error that will pops up okay the error will be invalid numbers entered right and here you can just put a title enter a title there and you can also select the style you want information warning stop let's say information that looks a bit friendly there we go okay as you can see anytime your mouse is there once you click on it it gives you a tool tape telling you what to do okay select this area again and let's go to the form but why do i have to select this area supposing i decide to select here and click on this form you get an error asking you select a cell so just have to select the cell there there we go enter the next employee details in there aviation town and this guy's name is let's say is Paul Parker and Paul Parker's address is number seven one road gender male salary and I'm going to go above the specified range 
and the date happens to be the same day and now guys check out what's going to happen once I click on new or press enter you see that we have an error telling us excess data in there just click on ok right and we can always correct that scroll up or just click on fine and just enter the right data there let's change that 7 to 1 that is fine okay that is our taking care of and one other thing that we can do with this form is we can actually use this form to search or look for yeah to search so all you need to do is click on criteria and what do we want who are we looking for let's assume we're looking for Tony Allen so I'm going to enter Tony Allen there and click on find previous there we go you see that all the information of Tony Allen displayed okay so with that guys I'm going to call it the end of this beautiful tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it and to you my notice writer I believe I've managed to answer your I have answered your question and uh, you all have a nice day and please do subscribe and those of you who are interested to become a member of the channel you are all welcome and we also have some merchandise on board for you guys so thanks for being a member of my channel and you guys have a nice day bye for now